it is taking me forever to finish Exodus and it's my own fault um, because I will start reading it get into it find a good message and then I'll uh, I'll drift off <laughs> and I'll start working on something else but whatever um so today um, I had posted earlier on my Instagram about uh, me reading and just like I guess preparing my spirit um, preparing the atmosphere just for peace and joy around this time of the year um, you know we depending on what's going on in your life you might be a little sad or depressed or you just you're not in the mood to celebrate Christmas so to avoid all of that you know I wanted to start my day off you know listening to worship music reading my Bible like I should have been doing not just when you need something from God you supposed to always read it but today's message again is coming from Exodus I wanted to talk about following God's route or God's path or what he has laid out for you and not straying off um, following what your heart or what your flesh is telling you is going to be the best route or the best way. Um, so I wanted to read Exodus 13 verses, verse 17 and it says, and it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. And going on to verse 18, but God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea and the children of Israel went up, harnessed out of the land of Egypt and um, in my new study Bible my King James of course you probably can't see that but it has some study notes at the bottom and at the end of the video I wanted to kind of read more into it but just as a brief little overview for right now the notes were basically speaking about um, God could have took them a different way, but he knew what way he wanted to take them and that was the best route. And the notes were just basically saying that archeologists did research and they were saying, you know, what path would have been better and all that, but God always knows the best route. So for my little devotional or notes that I uh, wrote in my like little prayer slash Bible study book, um, Okay, sometimes we want the quick and easy and painless route. And that could be during a breakup, during times when we're trying to travel somewhere, or even with weight loss. You know, I always give weight loss examples. So, when you're losing weight, the, like CDC website said, the most healthiest weight you should lose is one to two pounds um, a week. A lot of times we want the quick and easy. We want to take the, the quick path. We want to do it quick and start looking good. Like the next day we did 10 sit-ups and we're supposed to like have washboard abs. It doesn't work that way. Everything needs timing. Everything has a correct or a healthy path. Um, and of course, you know, they say if you lose more than one or two pounds, if you lose an excessive amount of weight, sometimes you'll gain it right back plus more. So it's better to do it the healthy way. Um, when speaking about birth or having children, um, we need to carry them for nine months in order for them to um, be born healthy, have everything functioning. And if they're born early, it's a possibility that everything may not be in working order. So the healthy route or the, the healthy timing is nine months for birth. and. Speaking about relationships, a lot of times when we're trying to get over a breakup, the quick and easy way, we will we will take a different route <laughs> and a lot of times end up in more pain at the very end. We get into rebound relationships or we get into activities that are 
um, helping us to physically feel better or emotionally feel better when it's only masking um, the pain. Um, and when you think of it in terms of starting a relationship, sometimes we might rush and we're like, okay, well, I feel like I love them and they feel like they love me, so let's just get married. Let's get into a serious relationship when a lot of times we don't stop and ask God, is this what you want for me? Um, take it from someone who knows, I've been through two divorces before the age of 30 and both marriages were uh, rushed. I rushed into both of them um, and it was a lesson learned. So I know now to kind of, you know, pray to God, ask him to show me, okay, is this the right person? Is, um, is this person meaning well for me? You know, so it's just good to do those things. Um, sorry. So yeah, so praying to God, asking him for the right path whether it's relationship or anything going on in your life, is really, really, really important to follow his path because he knows the right way. He knows if he wants to take you the longer wilderness route or he knows if he wants to take you the quick and easy route. And a lot of times when we go through that wilderness phase um, or the longer route, it's helping to uh, mature us. God knows what he's doing and we just have to trust that. No matter how uncomfortable or how painful it is, we have to trust his time and his path. Um, and just thinking about the children of Israel in the book of Exodus where they're speaking about them going on this journey. Um, you know, of course they complained and, you know, God knew what he was doing. And I think at the very end, those that made it, they were like, okay, yeah, I'm glad God took us on this path instead of the two day path, because it helped us to take those trials and tribulations or the longer route as a greater lesson. Okay. So yeah. That's the devotional for today. Just being reminded that we need to follow God's path. He knows what he's doing. We have to trust that. And no matter how long it takes. And it's, it's kind of funny because it's taking me so long to read Exodus. And I'm, you know, kind of procrastinating with it. But, and then also it's the end of the year. And I'm getting to the, the part where it's speaking about um, the children of Israel leave, leaving it, Egypt. And this was like a really, really hard year for me because this was the first time in a very long time that I decided to just follow God and not do all the things that helped me to feel better or trying to jump into every relationship that was out there and available to me. I prayed and I asked God to lead me. And a lot of times when you're going through that loneliness phase and you're like, Oh my God, another month and I'm still single, another month and I'm still not having children, I'm still not married or, you know, when you have those feelings like that, just sit back and remember, you know, God has that plan for you. He knows what route he wants you to take. And when we venture off onto our own little route, it's going to take us longer to get to the destination, just like the children of Israel. I've heard a few times, you know, in church where they talk about what should have been a 40 day journey turned into, I believe it was 40 years. You know, if we just sit back and we let God lead us and stop using our own GPS app that we've downloaded into our hearts, we need to follow his route and we'll get there a lot sooner than we think. So like I said, I wanted to read um, some of the notes at the very bottom. Um, where my Bible speaks about verse 17. Again, Exodus chapter 13, verse 17. It said, um, archaeologists <laughs> have found that Egypt had heavy fortifications along the northern route close to the Mediterranean coast. Though the route would have taken the Israelites by the most direct path to Canaan through Philistine territory, it would have it would have presented extreme danger and constant opposition. 
the Philistines came to the western coast of the Mediterranean from islands in the Aegean Sea and would later be frequent fr frequent frequent foes of Israel. Egyptian or Philistine opposition at this time might have caused the Israelites to change their minds. So, with that being said, just reading from the notes um, on that verse is basically saying if God would have allowed them to take the easier route, more troubles would have came. So that I mean, there's power in itself just reading that or just thinking about that, even though he took them all around the way, you know, we're thinking, okay, they could have went an easier way. Think of how much more trouble it would have been. Just like in the notes, it's saying if they would have took the easier way, worse things may have happened. So follow God's path. Don't follow your own heart. Don't follow your own emotions because that will a lot of times get you in trouble. So as we end this year and uh, start a new year, if you are into the New Year's resolutions and all of that, mine will constantly and always be, I want this year to be God's year. I don't want to do what makes me happy. I want to do what God... Uh, I want to do what makes God happy because if we're following his path, what else could go wrong? So have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.